weekly COVID cases are on the rise and the number of people keeping up with their booster shots is declining. And health officials don't think it's any coincidence that cases are rising as kids get settled back into school. Fox 55's Brianna Bias is live in studio to tell us where you can go to get your kid boosted. Brianna. Yeah, Kelsey, I spoke to the vaccine clinic super shot today and they said that it really comes down to the people are just tired of COVID existing. They want to go back to life as it was before the pandemic, so they're less likely to keep up with their booster shots. But as we head into fall, people are way more likely to get sick. COVID cases are slowly on the rise. Maybe because people were going to school, back kids are back to school, different things. People are definitely getting out. Allen County Health Commissioner Thomas Gutwein says the good news is cases declined over the summer and are still lower than what they expected going into the fall. There's a lot of things that are a little different this year from last year. I think number one, a lot of people are vaccinated and I think that will help prevent the hospitalizations and deaths. And he says if we want it to stay that way, we can't pretend COVID doesn't exist. You know, if 25% of the people have COVID, then no matter where you go, you're going to run into COVID. But if we only have 5% of the people or 2% of the people that have COVID, then you're going to be much safer no matter where you go. For that to happen, he says people need to get their booster shots. People are just a bit fatigued. So now is not the time with the new booster being available to, um, you know, stay on the sidelines. It's time to come out and get those booster shots. Connie Heflin with Super Shot in Fort Wayne says they've seen fewer and fewer people getting vaccinated lately. We did receive 1,800 doses of COVID bivalent vaccine, and we are um, giving primarily the Pfizer booster. So she encourages people to stop in and get boosted, as well as continue washing their hands and wearing masks when they're sick, so cases stay low. As we saw back when COVID was in 2020, when people started wearing masks frequently and people were using good hygiene, that these other viruses almost went away. And Heflin says their vaccine clinic on Hobson Road is open for walk-ins for two Omicron subvariants. And she encourages parents to bring their kids in for both COVID and flu shots, especially now that they're back in school. Reporting live in the studio, I'm Brianna Bias, Fox 55 News.